Ever wanted to schedule one post from your WordPress website to different social platforms that you have? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you just that with one simple plugin, which is called BitSocial. By the way, this video is sponsored by BitApps, so thank you BitApps for sponsoring today's video. Other than that, let's dive right into this beautiful plugin, which allow you to automate a lot of things inside of it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First thing first, we'll have to install BitSocial. In my case, I already have it, but if you don't already have it, so head over to plugins, then then add new plugin and then search for bit social and the plugin that you want to install is this exact plugin by bit social auto poster and scheduler by bit apps as i said before in my case it is already installed and activated so we'll head over to bit social right over here and we'll head over to home so the first thing we will have to do is obviously connect our social account so in my case i'll be connecting my facebook page so let's do that in order to do so we'll head over and click accounts and over here right here on the left you'll be able to see we have in the free version the linkedin account and facebook Facebook account. Now, as you might be able to see, the Twitter or X, Pinterest, Discord, Google Business Profile, and Tumblr are in the pro version, as well as the option for a calendar, which we'll be visiting in a few minutes. So stick around to see all the features in the free version and the pro version. In this case, we'll head over and click connect account. Now, as you'll be able to see here, we still have all these accounts, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Business, and so forth. And as you can see here, we have different buttons that we can choose from depending on what we want to. Now, in this case, and the most simplest way that I'll be able to show you that is by simply clicking connect because that will connect with the platform and will allow you to a more smooth and more intuitive way to connect this platform to your WordPress website. So in this case, that's what I'm going to do. I'll click connect and then we'll be able to see here if our Facebook window opens up in this case i'll click continue now in my case as you can see here it will ask me to reconnect but if you're connecting it for the first time what you want to do is click connect button right over here instead of the reconnect and then it will walk you through the following steps if you're not running multiple business managers over in the facebook platform what you want to do is simply click the opt-in to all current and future businesses. But in my case, it's a little different. So in my case, I'll head over and choose my specific business manager. In my case, I've already chosen that. So I'll head over and click continue. Now over here, what I want to do is find the page that I want to connect to my website. Just choose it and click continue. In this case, it would be this page. So as I said before, just head over and click continue. Then after that, you don't need to do here anything. Just click save and then you're good to go. And over here, you'll be able to see here has been connected to BitSocial and then we'll just click got it. That will redirect us back to our website and then we'll be able to see here it's fetching data. So we'll wait just a little bit and then as we can see here now we just have to save our page over here and then just click save and you're pretty much done with your setup. And we'll also have this notification account saved successfully. Right after that, you can just click out of that or just click the X icon over here. So, so far, so good. You might be able to see here that it's so simple. It's just a few clicks and then your account is connected to your WordPress website. Now, if you're connected a different page that you didn't want to, you can simply just click the bin icon over here and then that will remove this connection from your website. Other than that, we'll have a few more things to cover. So let's head over and click the WP out of post. Now in this area, yeah, what you can do is specifically tell the plugin what you want to do once a post is made on your website. For example, I'm running a blog website and I just want to share my post automatically to those social platforms that I've already predefined. As we can see here, right here on the left, we have the list of our social platforms. In this case, I have Facebook and then I have my Facebook page over here. So I just click that and you'll be able to see here it's selected. And as we can see here, we also connect another account if we wish to, to do so in the future. We can see here we have share posts automatically. So once a post is made on our website, it will be automatically published to the specific social accounts that I choose right here on the left. The same thing goes over here, share post types. We can also choose different post types. For example, here it is predefined as posts, but we can also choose pages, media, floating elements, my templates specifically. I think also pages kind of would be applicable to that, but again, posts will be even better. But again, this comes down to your own preferences. Now, if we scroll a little bit down here, we'll be able to see here we have share post delay. For example, we don't want to share our post immediately. So we can also define it differently. Now it's by default to immediately, but we can also schedule it to, for example, five minutes after we've published our post or 10 minutes or one hour or three hours, depending on your choice. Now we have also the option to enable auto post log. If we wish to, we can also opt out of that if we don't want to just by switching this switcher off and then you're pretty much done with it. But I would do encourage you to keep this on because then as we can see here, we have this little note 
wrong here, disabling the option prevents you view your insights and you might encounter duplicate posts when you use the scheduled module. Now we can see here we have also a template post template, we can also click that and then we'll be able to see we have our templates over here. As we can see here, right here on the right, we have the preview, which is coming soon, which I think would be a great representation of what your posts will look like on different social accounts. As we can see here, by default, it is set to LinkedIn, but in my case, I'll switch it to Facebook. Now over here, right here in the middle, we'll be able to see our Facebook template settings. As we can see here, we have our custom message and whatever you customize over here will be displaying also over here. Now we have not only the post title, we have also other smart tags, as we can see right over here. Now, once you click that, you'll be able to see here we have a lot of options or in this case some variables as we can see we have post tags post terms unique id images and so on now one cool feature here that they have implemented in this case is the product name and product description and all the other options to include also products as we can see here it is designated by this little orange crown over here and as you can see here it is in the pro version so again the pro version gives you even more options than the free version but if we'll head over and click out of that we'll be able to see here we have our posting type. Now the posting type, we can see here that we can differently define it depending on what we need. So we can see here we have only custom message, we have our link card, feature image, product image, or all images. Now the other thing here, we can also trim our message, which will tell you in a nutshell that Facebook will restrict you for some characters. And if you don't want that, then you can also disable that. But make sure that you know what to do here, because if you do not enable that, then what will happen is that it will not be trimmed. And then it would not be published. So I would do encourage you to keep that on because then it will trim your posts or just keep it very clear and concise. And this is my own tip for you. So your post would not need to be trimmed and then it will be published as what you want it to. Once you're done stylizing your template for your social media accounts, the next thing that we want to do is head over and see how we'll be able to schedule all our posts. If we have a lot of posts on our WordPress website to tell bit social to schedule them depending on what we want want to. So we'll head over and click the WP post schedules. And over here, what you want to do is click the create schedule. Now we can see here we have this new pop up, which will tell us that we have some settings to define, we have post filter, and we have accounts and templates that we want to choose from not all of these settings you have to configure, but I would do encourage you to go over with me on them. So you'll be able to understand what is actually happening over in the settings, post filter accounts and templates. So the first thing here, we have the option to name it. Now, we have also the start date and time as we can see here it is currently on 30th of September 2024 to 36 p.m. And then also if we want to advance schedule again, it will be here over in the pro version. But just a sneak peek, what you'll be getting here is also a calendar and a time a.m. p.m. and so on. Next thing we have is post interval once an hour or once every X minutes. Next thing we have is order post by as we can see here, we have started from the latest to old posts. Now we can also choose it to be randomly or random without duplicates or start from the old to new post. Now it is only up to your choice. So head over, choose whatever is suitable for your needs. Next thing we have is set a sleep timer. As we can see here, we can set a start time and we can set an end time. So this means what time your post would not be scheduled. For example, you don't want to schedule your posts at nighttime or you don't want to schedule them between 2 to 4 p.m. That only depends on your own choice. And also we have the set sleep days. If we want to, we can also set it to different days of the week, as we can see over here. And next thing we have is also post filter. As we can see here, we have the by the published time of the post. We can see our all times today, last seven days, last 15 days, 30 or up to a year. Now we have also the option to view it by post type. If we want to schedule only posts or pages, media, floating elements, and my templates. Again, I think it's only depending on what you need. But most of cases, what I think I'll be using is posts. We have also the by the post category and tag. So if we want to specifically choose posts by category or tags, that will be over here. Specifically here, I don't have any categories and any tags, but in your case, it will be a little different. So head over, choose the categories or tags that you want to schedule the posts by, and that would be set up over here. Now, the next thing we have is also the option to select specific posts over here. You just want to choose it currently. I have only hello world, which you can see here, it's a brand new website. So I'll click that and then you'll be able to see it will be added up over here. The last thing I want to show you here is accounts and templates. In this case, it just refreshed and realized that I have already an account over here. The interface is kind of repeating itself, but I think it's a more intuitive way to do so. So in this case, I'll 
choose this account. And then again, we can see here, my template is already over here. And from here, I can choose or the smart tags and also to enable the feature image or the link card. And once I'm done, I'll just click create and then I'm good to go. And as we can see here, now it's refreshed and we're able to see that currently it's an untitled schedule. I haven't named it. So this is why the name is displaying like that. And also the created ad, we can see here what time it was created, what time it was scheduled to, and then interval one hour. And then next post is in 60 minutes. Status is active. And we can also edit that or just trash it if we want to. And we have also the option to refresh or create a new schedule. Now, the next thing I want to show you here is the share now, which will allow you to share a few things now and also to tweak a lot of things along the way. So we'll head over and click share now. And also same thing here, we'll need to click the share post over here. And then also here, we'll need to choose our social account. In this case, it will be Facebook. And over here, we also have to name it and then create a simple post for our social media. In this case, it would be a simple post that we want to just compile something together really quickly and then either to publish it right now or just to set up a schedule if we want to come with a new idea and then just link it or add a media to it. For example, if I click the media, we'll be able to upload an image or add a link if we want to. As I said before, in a nutshell, what it allows you to do is just compile a very simple, quick post if you want to, if you have a new idea that comes up and you'll be able to just compile it over here and then share it now or schedule it to a little bit later over in the day or in the week. Once you're done, either click publish now or in my case, I'll click out of that or click the X icon right over here. The next thing I want to show you here is calendar but I will have to install and activate the pro version. In this case, what I want to do is head over to my plugins and then upload bits social pro. As we can see here, I've already uploaded it. So the next thing I want to do is also activate it. And the next thing that we have to do is connect our bit social pro to our WordPress website. So we'll head over to bit social pro. And then over here, you want to scroll down to your license over here. Click the connect with bit app subscription. That would do its thing and then you'll be good to go as we can see your license key activated successfully and you're pretty much done here so we'll head over and click the calendar right over here now the cool feature here over in the calendar is you can actually schedule your post depending on what day of the month you want here which is on top of all what we've seen so far can extend your posting capabilities to a new level in my idea for example i want to schedule my post to the ninth of of October. So we'll head over here. We'll just click the 9th of October. It will select the day over here and we'll be able to click the add schedule right over here. And then it will pop up a new window, which will also be able to configure different settings as we just saw in the other previous step so far. As we can see here, the settings, post filter, accounts, and templates. A quick note before we wrap up this tutorial, one thing that I want to show you here is that not all these social platforms that we've seen just so far, if we'll head over to accounts, not all of them are the final product. So if we'll head over to BitSocial over here, we'll be able to see here that we have more incoming. As we can see, we have Instagram, TikTok, Telegram, Xing, Threads, Reddit, and so on, as we can see over here. So this is just the beginning. And as I've shown you so far, this is only the free version. As we can see here, we have all the options over here. And if you upgrade to the lifetime, we'll be able to see here, we are getting all the free features as we've seen over here. And addition to that, we'll be able to also have the unlimited scheduling time. As we can see here, we have also the option to multiple images sharing and video sharing and also multiple social accounts on every platform. And finally, we have also the option to enable external cron to publish the scheduled post. As you might be able to see so far, I think it's a great plugin, which can actually save you a lot of time. If you have a lot of posts and you just want to upload them or schedule them ahead of time, and then just remove or just get rid of this backlog of posts instead of going to each platform and then just posting them one by one. All the links would be down in the description of this this video. Other than that, I really hope you like this video. And if you do, I really hope you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that I post on WordPress, Elementor, WooCommerce, or any other integration or plugins that I review here on the channel. Other than that, again, I just wanted to say a big thank you to BetApps for sponsoring this video. And as usual, I'll be seeing you in the next one.